So sad. Gotta take it back. Froze. Broccoli froze. Cabbage froze. Collards are good. New compost. And the blueberry. Hey guys, so you saw a little bit of the um, what it, the garden looks like now. What are we? This is the end of January, and I am behind. <laughs> I'm behind. Um, I have not got the first seed in the dirt. And last year, I was two weeks away from putting the plants in the dirt. So, life, right? You just kind of got to work with it. Um, you'll see. There's some holes already. Um, everywhere back here. But also, there's a new thing. So, I have been doing things. Um, so, look at this. Isn't it pretty? So, instead of uh, throwing away that... Gosh, you just can't see how pretty that is. It looks like honey. But it's not. It's actually turkey broth. And um, it was the turkey carcass. So I just threw the carcass with a little bit of skin and a little bit of meat that was still on it in the roaster. <sighs> An onion. Some of my carrot tops. A little bit of, I think, thyme. Water. That was it. Kind of just let it marinate hung out in the little jacuzzi all day long so and i ended up with it was a turkey breast 11 pints made some really great soup so instead of throwing those carcasses away after you have a chicken or a turkey or whatever um put them in the freezer until you're ready to you know turn them into broth um but Today, we need to talk about some things. Obviously, it's the end of January. It is such a pretty day out today. And like I said, I'm so far behind on so much. But what we need to talk about is what we're getting ready to do for this year. Just like last year, I'm going to do the same. Um, maybe add a few things. Hopefully, um, you know, we'll get a better tomato crop. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to switch you around. And let's go over kind of where we ended up last year. Because we didn't talk about that. Just real quick. Um, in my little plot that we have. You've seen it. For um, four, three by 18 rows. No dig rows. Two. Um, what are they? Four by eight raised beds. And then the, oh, it's like 9 by 22, I think it ended up being. 
um, earth garden, regular garden. So what we did and our failures, obviously were the tomatoes and winter squash we never got because of the squash bugs and they just, and then of course I haven't um, gotten much of anything this fall other than the collards that we're still eating those. Um, so let's talk numbers from last year. Okay, so I had to switch you around. Coffee, winter, love it. This is my weekend mug. Gotta have a giant mug. So let's look at just, let's see what we got here. So we did the big winners, obviously, <laughs> you guys saw the sweet potatoes. We had roughly 63, 64 pounds. Um, the cabbage did really well. We had six heads at 13.25. Lettuce, it's hard to weigh that. And plus, you're only, you know, kind of picking here and there. Um, we had 60 heads, all of those made. And then, of course, the pear tree did really well. That only happens every few years. So we may not get anything um, this year at all. Anything to really put away. So, you know, the peppers, we really didn't weigh up. Um, the broccoli is, you know, kind of hard to weigh up. Other than the crowns, so I just kind of went with it. The corn, in my opinion, did good. I got 40 ears of corn, and not only did we get corn that I turned mostly, we had ear corn, and then um, I put away pints of creamed corn. But I also made corn syrup. Hopefully, they'll last the year. I don't know, we're going through it pretty quickly. <laughs> um, it's actually really good, so I'm pleased with the... And that was free, just corn cobs. Corn cobs and a little bit of brown sugar and pull it down and you've got corn syrup. Um, and these are all in pounds. Zucchini obviously did really well. We're, I mean, look at that. Almost 49 pounds. When I've got the pluses by it, that means it got to the point where I'm done. I don't want any more. Give it away. I'm not messing with it anymore. Um, and if you remember, I mean, that doesn't seem like a, a lot to some people, but we had three plants. Three. <laughs> that was it. We had three zucchini and three squash plants, you know? Um, as far as okra, you're, you know, over 11 pounds. I gave a lot away. Um, and then I let the last month everything go to seed. So we got that, you know. Um, but anyway, those are kind of the numbers. Most of it, and you can see tomato is a little, little frowny face. Um... I don't know, probably a good 15 or 20 pounds. And I'm okay with that. We made salsa. Um, I used a lot in a chili that we jarred up. And I still have two and a half gallons in the freezer um, that I need to work up probably the, you know, the next nasty weekend, I guess. But... And, oh, and I totally forgot. Most of this stuff, I had done the numbers and added everything up. And the carrots aren't on here. So I know there was like six pounds of carrots. And when I say six pounds of carrots, you know, they were the little, I don't know, they're about I don't know, like that. The little fat round things. Um, but anyway, on the known numbers, and like I said, I failed to put the carrots in this number. But we got... This is what we kind of end up with. Look at that. So if you add in that six, you're at what? Basically 239 known pounds. And then of course the estimates I had 35 to 40 because that, you know, that's the tomatoes, that's the peppers. You know, of course you can't do corn. You can't really weigh the lettuce because you're picking it all the time. Anyway, we're looking at 270 to 280 or more pounds in the little plot 
that I had last year. And when you think about the numbers right now, um, what's in the store? Because I went today and <laughs> we didn't, I've been doing the pantry challenge and not going to the grocery store. So we've, we've, yeah, that was, um, eye opening <laughs> to say the least. Thank goodness. I've not eaten out a whole lot over the last month or done anything extra. I really haven't even gone to any stores, basically go to work and come home and that's it. So, I mean, I mean, like I said, like I said, add in the numbers, you know, add in my carrots, totally forgot about. And, um, we're definitely pushing 270 easy, if not more. Um, and you can do the math. I, I have done the math before, but I totally forgot to do it for here. Like I said, um, the three, no, four, three by 18 rows, raised rows, four by eight, two, four by eight raised beds. And then in the nine by 22 earth bed, you pretty much, um, this year I only did four, just to say rows, because we had the two rows of tomatoes and then ended up with the, in the end, two rows of corn at the same time. So that's really just four rows. And I, I mean, I squeezed them in. Even when I did the potatoes, I snuck the, the, um, in the spring, I snuck the onions, I mean, within 12 inches of the potato heels. So anyway, so let's move on. That was a really good year. You do the numbers based in your grocery store. Um, and see how much, you know, we saved just by doing it ourselves. Just by me growing all this myself. So let's move on to this year. So I've already got everything written down. This is what you need to do. If you have, you figure out what you like to eat. That's pretty much what I did last year. What do we eat? I mean, when you think about everything that you eat or use, that's kind of what I did and how I um, figured out everything. And you can see, like, I've got a, we're going to have my whole little list. So cabbage, lettuce, broccoli, green beans. I'm going to do something different with my green beans this year, too zucchinis okra you'll notice there is no squash i'm not a huge yellow fan yellow squash fan and i have plenty in the freezer right now um there may be one or two but not a lot potatoes really really would like more potatoes um i wanted to add another 20 feet to the um in ground garden your traditional garden um just haven't been able to and if you're like us pretty much every week it's a soggy mess and just we have not been able to turn up the dirt so um then if it happens it may be <laughs> in the summer so we'll be doing spring stuff in the i don't know just we'll see i guess <laughs> anyway so I need lots of potatoes. We know what's going on with potatoes. Corn, we'll do a couple more just like last year, just enough. Um, the onions, okay, onions, they need to go in soon too. I've already got them on my list and I already have them um, ordered. Hopefully they'll come in soon. Garlic, well you saw that, it's already in the ground and then it'll go in in October. Sweets. You see, I've got a question. I don't know. I have about 50 pounds left. <laughs> we just, it's two people and we kind of need to start eating more of them. Yeah. Um, of course, we're doing the bell peppers. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. The Italians, the jalapenos. What is in spinach? That's spring. Um, and fall, you can do both. The winter squash, that'll go in late summer peas more than likely i'm going to do them for fall don't know but carrots they're going in soon 
Um, so what I have to do is figure out, and that's Good Friday. Good day. Always a good day to plant. Green beans. Start with green beans on that day. But I know the cabbage, the lettuce, the broccoli, all of that. I got to get those seeds started. Like soon. Like a week or two. Technically, <laughs> technically, last year, um, the 1st of January. So I, I planted the cabbage and the broccoli in the no-dig garden. Um, it seems like it was February 20th. So they were already six weeks old. Anyway, so that is, that's my, that's my list. Now I have to sit down and figure out when I'm starting my seeds. So they'll go here because I start everything by seeds. So I'll, I'll go here and then fall here. Now I also have, oh, and you'll see I've got a little S. That means I already have my seeds. So I picked up the corn seeds today, so I have to check that one off. Of course, the garlic is already in the ground and everything else. And of course, we saved seed last year from a lot. Um, now, herbs, basil, you have to grow over here. Oregano, you saw what happened with my oregano and thyme. So I've got to restart that. I'm actually going to do that soon. And I'm going to put those in bigger pots in the house. Uh, probably soon and let those get a little bit bigger, a little more established. Last year, the heat, the drought was just brutal. And for the those little um, herb beds. So really, um, I just really needed more established. You know, I lost... Yeah, the oregano and the thyme, they held on, but then they got the mite, the spider mites or whatever, and just took them down quickly. Um, the chamomile, uh, you saw that in the first part of the video, it's reseeding, so I don't have to worry about that. I may just kind of let that go and see what happens. Actually, if you saw, they're at the step going into the greenhouse. It has seeded itself somehow. <laughs> Because there's no dirt there. Um, right there at the step going into the greenhouse. Weird. Um, but a lemon balm, the fever few. That'll probably go in, in the pot anyway. Because bees don't like fever few. And then some new things. I want some holy basil and the mullein. I uh, really want to. And I just found where I can find the seeds on that. Um, the calendula. <sighs> It's going to reseed itself, it looks like. Um, the bad thing is I'm going to have to redo those beds. So I'm going to get started on that soon, too. We'll see. But I did save a lot of calendula seeds from last year. So this is my list. That is, you know, may seem ambitious. But that is pretty much everything we did last year. Um, I'm just behind. So, but here's some... I know not everybody loves it. This is what I use just to kind of gauge um, the frost dates. I go off of the moon somewhat. <laughs> My dad, he goes off of the signs. So I'll ask him, you know, good days, bad days, because he goes off of the, the signs. Good, good plant days. I don't know. The sign of the water and the sign of this and that sign of that. I, honestly, I have no idea how to read the signs, the zodiac signs. But I know when the moon is full and I know when it's new. And the basic principle that I go with, above ground plants, anything that grows and fruits above ground is in the light of the moon. Anything that grows and produces underground you want to plant in the dark of the moon. And if you don't trust that, if you've ever noticed when you go, let's say you go to the beach on the moon, the full and the new moon, the tides are always higher and or lower. So the moon affects water. So it affects everything. <laughs> the sun and moon is just, it's life. So, anyway, get you a farmer, Farmer's Arnack if you just kind of go off the signs. 
and it will tell you, I'll show you back here somewhere. Mm, sorry, I guess I should have marked it. I saw it the other day. There we go. You've got your map. These are general. This is so general. Okay. Of course, I'm in the south. It's supposed to be one. But with the cold lately, I kind of do like a one and a two. So there's your plants or your produce. Line one for me. So let's just take... Now see, this is plants. This is putting plants outside. Okay. Early broccoli. It's telling me on the moon, it's February 20th to March 7th. All right. Well, I know right now that this is the last weekend in January. My plants need to be five to six weeks it's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to go over here and somewhere around the end of the month. These are moon favorable. You can do plant dates here, but this is based on the moon. So anyway, that's how you read your almanac if you are so inclined. Now, this is who I like. Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. They're up in Virginia. So, mostly heirloom seeds. They're, they have a lot of stuff. I just love them. So, let me look at one thing I've got listed here. What do I got? Oh, okay. This one's the, the spinach. So, you can see. Where's the heirloom? The heirloom is a little hourglass. So, the bloom stale, the winter bloom stale, or the long standing. I don't know which one I have right now. But, I think I still have my seeds left from last year. I don't think if there's anything I'm going to get new. Oh, there is, there is, there is. My mom grew, last year she grew a little bit of green, a little row of green beans for her. Where are they at? Greasy cut shorts. I had never heard of them. I thought they were really good. Um, anyway, I can't find them. But that's going to be my new one. And I was going to show you Chantenay. Those are right there. Those are my little carrots that I like to grow. And those seeds need to go in soon too. But there you go. Ooh, they did go up a little bit this year. It looks like 50 cent from last year but you can see five and a half inches long by the way you know I pulled those in what June they're still good <laughs> so the sand in a bucket in the refrigerator worked you anyway, may looks like my videos going a little long here I'm sorry about that but I wanted to basically this just encourage you to start thinking it is time to think about, at least think about what you want to do. If it's just a, a pot in the window, you know, that's fine. If you've got a little porch, you can put things on, start them inside, put them outside, you know, build you a small raised bed out of some pallet wood, things free, work on it, you know, do what you can. Um, to have a little bit of food security. This year, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get a lot more, um, than I did last year. As far as, now, don't get me wrong, the squash were great. The squash, that was just great. The sweet potatoes, I couldn't ask for a better harvest. Um, and they're still looking really good. I had a few that had some damage, maybe some disease. I'm not sure. Blights or something. But only a handful that I've had to throw away since we dug in, what, September. 
Um, other than that, they're, I mean, they're looking really good. We still have food on the shelves. Of course, we've been eating it. That's what it's there for. It's not to, um, <laughs> just look pretty. But do, um, just, you know, if you're selling one thing, just pick one thing. One thing that your family really likes. And like I said, I'm hoping for the tomatoes because we all, if you haven't heard, you know, you're just playing people talking about it, about the tomato harvest um, from California this, this past year. And then of course the damage and everything they've had. And then the winter wheat crisis with that extreme Arctic blast we had. Um, of course now California is underwater. So there's the lettuce, you know, it's like a never ending cycle. <laughs> so do what you can. Uh, I'll say this. This is my little motto. Do what you can, when you can, and then can it. <laughs> anyway, this is Wing Mom. Until the next time, hopefully the next time will be a few weeks and you'll see sprouts of something. All right. Take care, guys. If you got any questions, leave, leave me a comment. Thanks.